I've been in the real estate game for 30 years. This is just video introduction because I, I have cerebral palsy. I am not drunk or on drugs. I know all about real estate, so I wanted to put this out there. Man, that, that you know, that, my last video, I ripped it, the, uh, that real estate broker, a uh, new one, huh? Yeah, I, sometimes I yell and scream at people, and, you know, thank God for the internet, thank God for email, um, because if I'm on the phone and uh, if he did that on the phone with me, I would have, I would have, you know, ripped his head off or tried to. And, guys, it's, it's, you know, when you go for deals, you know, you're dealing with people all the time with all, all, all these uh, uh, real estate brokers, uh, real estate, uh, the banks, uh, the hard money people, the the uh, mortgage brokers, the the uh, you know the uh, money investors. I'm, you know, if you got investors, you know, money investors, don't yell at them because they got money. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is, all these, all these real estate pros, they, they think they're hot shit, and you know, stuff like that. You know, it, it just, it, you know, thank God for email. You know, thank God for Facebook. Because, you know, I, uh, it wasn't a waste of time. I, I, you know, I, I deal with real estate brokers every day. And m most of them uh, don't email, 99% of them don't email me back. Because, because they want their th 3%. Okay, that's fine. But, but don't email me back telling me, what I should or shouldn't expect from you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, like I said, uh, the last video, you know, I'm, I'm I, I was trying to explain to the guy, I, I can get 5% on, on my money now with <laughs> interest rates at uh, seven, seven and a quarter, eight percent. I mean, I, the banks aren't lending money. So the thing is, and p people aren't selling houses, they're holding it on because half of the ownership out there has a mortgage, mortgage rate of 2.2, uh, 3%, uh, 3.5 to 4% on, you know, you know, four percent on your money, three percent on your money. Yeah, you know, you you're going to pay another eight hundred dollars a month on the mortgage payment. So I, I it wasn't I you know uh, dealing with these real estate brokers, real estate. Um, mortgage people, real estate, any real estate pro, bro, you know, especially when they don't know you, they, you know, they get emails every day. I understand that. But don't come back and tell me what I can't do and what I can do. You know, if I say I want 10% on my money, that's my goal. If you can't do anything with it, fine. Just leave it. Just leave it as it is. You don't have to treat me like a freaking three-year-old three, three year old because I'm on the telephone with you and I speak, you know, what? I, you know, I got a palsy and he knew that. 
but but we're all professionals here. If you don't want to deal with me, fine. I'll find someone else that will deal with me. It's not personal. The per the problem was it was a strange email. Jesus Christ, and I'm like, dude, this is my, what I want. I want $500,000 or less on a commercial or residential unit, either a single family or more than a family or, a, uh, you know, um, you know, commercial, at least 10% on my money. I, I go for 20%, but the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make a living here. And when you see, when you see all these freaking, you know, um, uh, restaurants and you know, bars and vacant land that doesn't do anything for me, and I I'm like, oh, you know, I'm seeing the closest thing thing I saw was seven seven and a half percent on a commercial land. Maybe maybe I'm dreaming here, but. Seven and a half percent on a five percent uh, CD now ain't going to do, uh, two and a half percent on my money. You know won't won't do anything. I, st I f freaking if I get a bank loan, it's seven and a half. So I'm losing money on the seven seven and a half percent. And you tell and you telling me I can't get fifteen. This is what I mean about these real estate pros. I I constantly have to do. Yeah, you have to deal with them anyway. You know, if you're in real estate, you know, especially especially when you, especially when you you know you you know you're an investor. I understand that, but and when you tell me that I'm going to give get only like seven and a half percent on the business and the mortgage is seven and a quarter, I'm losing money. I'm losing money. So I'm trying to get 10, 15, 20 percent on the back end. Don't you understand that? Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting five percent on my money on Coinbase. Now I don't have to put I don't have to uh, keep the money in there. I just drop it in for three weeks and drop it out you know Drop it out uh, in three weeks. Paid some bills, and you know, uh, drop it back in. Drop it, you know. So I'm not, you know. So, so you know, uh, really, you can't, you can't, you cannot understand what I mean. I have to double my money if you, if you, if I'm getting. If I'm getting seven and a half percent, I at least want fourteen percent on the back end, or fourteen and a half. You might think I'm crazy, but you know, this is what real estate brokers do. They don't think. And that, 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 you know, they're like, you know, they you know, especially with this, these car washes, you know, 
I'm like, can you just tell me how much money does the place make a month? So I can run the numbers. Five or is it ten thousand dollars? Is it fifteen thousand dollars? Is it two thousand dollars? Is it a thousand dollars a month on the three uh, the uh, the last one? The guy wanted you know five hundred ninety-five thousand dollars for the thing, and it looked nice, you know, real pretty, like, and I'm like. What's the cap rate on, you know, what am I going to do? Oh, do you have cash? I might have cash. I might have to go to the bank and get 8% on the money. What's the out, output of the business? If I can't, if I can't make, if I can't make $10,000 a Month on the five ninety five. Well, I would have offered four fifty four or somewhere. Four fifty. You're crazy, dude. It's always numbers. I told you that. You know, it, it's like pull. It's like pulling teeth with these people. That's why uh, I deal with uh, uh, mostly, uh, uh, you know, the uh, buy owners. Buy owner, buy owner. That's why you make money with the buy owners because, crap, the house is wrecked and the real estate brokers look at the house and say, Hey, 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 you got to paint this. And you you got to do this. You got to do that. So it looks nice. So it looks pretty. I, I, I just don't understand the concept of, you know, you know, I know real estate brokers who invest. So I know what, what uh, you know, I deal with them because they, they know my, but when you have to contact 25, 50, 75 to 100, you know, just email them just to get maybe a deal once in a while from them and you're telling them, you know, here's my numbers and he comes back with, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, you know, uh, uh, you know his he head is going to blow up. Don't, and then th he comes back with some s snot ass remark. That's what I was pissed off about. I mean, most of these people, most of these um, brokers, I, I tell them what I do. You know, my numbers, how much I can pay for, uh, you know, is the house halfway decent? Because they don't want to go in there and patch up walls, patch up roofs, and, uh, you know, I, I don't put ten, fifteen thousand 15,000 into it, but I, I'm not going to put a hundred thousand dollars into the place and you know and try to make my ten percent you know I, I you know I just you know that just pisses me off you know you know that just pisses me off that this is the bad side of the game this is the bad side of the business. You got dumb shits that don't even know the interest rates on the note. So I'm making 10% on my money and the bank wants eight. 
so I get 2% on my money and I lose money. Pay off, pay off the note. You know, fine. And, you know, deal with the guys who want the piece of the sh shit to just have it. I'm here to make money. I'm not here to, you know, um, you know, tell you all. Oh, and this probably is nice. It's all pretty and stuff. I mean, you know, just another day in the life of a real estate investor dealing with assholes. You know, I don't give you another example. A guy go, you know, I emailed this guy for a duplex and um, uh, a triplex, two, three unit in Palm Beach. I forget the I forget the, uh, I forget what they wanted. I think they wanted uh, 650 for it, $650,000 for it. And I'm uh, $15,000 a month, I mean $1,500 a month. I, you know, I might be able to, you know, uh, so what's that? Uh, you know, so the numbers get, uh, uh, so, uh, I might be able, uh, eight, eight percent, I would have gave him 500,000, he comes back, he calls me up again, oh, we, we, will I got, yeah, will I now fit to, uh, you know, we, uh, we build stuff, you know, do, uh, triplexes, duplexes, you know, the builders. I said, no, uh, you can email me back, maybe we can do a couple of deals. And he, uh, the guy's like, well, we, we have a pattern. He tells me about this, uh, you know, uh, oh God, uh, uh, you know, solar panels. You know, we build the solar panels into the uh, uh, roof. Not on the roof, but I guess in the roof. So you're telling me I might be able to, you know, they, they'll pay me such and such, you know, off the taxes and I'm like, okay, just send me the information. I look at it and it's bullshit. Yeah, I told him, well, what do you do this? Do you do that? Well, if I can't go beyond five thousand, five hundred thousand dollars, he knows that. So I go, do you, do you, uh, do you? You know, uh, do any steel steel uh, construction like Walmart does? You know, steel building when you put stuff in. I can do that. Uh, I can build a business. I mean, a building. Okay, four hundred fifty thousand dollars, and put you know like Walmart. Walmart does the same thing. What what Walmart does is, you know, they do do the you know warehouse thing then they you know put stucco on the building to make it nice but basically the whole building is steel so I can do the same thing on any real estate property if I can get get one for five hundred dollars you know you know that's what I do and stick up uh, a hundred fifty thousand um, dollar 
building and put stucco on it. So I, I you know, I don't need you <laughs> to build a building for me. I can go to a steel guy and let him build, you know, uh, the shell, you know, and, you know, he goes, oh, well, it's, you know, we have, you know, we hurricane proof, 350 mile hour winds. Okay, how much does that cost? Uh, you know, uh, $800,000. Well, I can build it. The same thing for 150, and ha have have it, you know, uh, winds up to 200. Because hurricanes don't blow uh, more than 200 miles per hour. You know the wind that gusts. So it's a steel building with you. Know, you make it pretty, like Walmart does. Oh, man, these people drive me up the wall. You know, thank God for the emails. Because if I'm constantly on the phone, which I am, to, uh, you know, try to get these fizzbos to, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know get, get me going. Oh, man. When someone told me, oh, real estate, you don't have to pay these people. Sometimes I wish I paid these people. You know, the uh, guy who wants 15 bucks an hour and he goes on the phone for me. I shouldn't do that in the Philippines. That would only cost me a couple grand a year. That, that might be an option. Just to make phone calls. Jesus Christ, now I'm like, you know, I know I have a home based business, but, you know, <laughs> oh, my shit. You know, when you work f for these people with, uh, you know, <laughs> with commissions, it's like pulling teeth. You know, they're great if you want to buy something right away. You know, like buy something new. I'm there. I'm not buying anything new. I'm a real estate investor. That means I'm going to go very low on you know, just make a phone call. And see if the uh, owner wants to play with me. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, let me let you guys go.